Notebook LM from Google is an absolutely awesome tool that everyone is talking about. And I think they're looking at it backwards, especially if you're a content creator or anyone in the education space who has all of these wild ideas in all sorts of different medium, whether they be YouTube videos or documents or PDFs, Google Docs, text prompts, all of that great information all over the place. And everyone is teaching pretty much the same thing. Add it to uh, Notebook LM as your sources and go at it. You can really work, do some magic with it, with your research, and even use the studio to build some wild, wild, wild uh, things. So I'll give you an example here. I'll open up Notebook LM so you can take a look at it. Um, you know, this is what everyone's teaching. Add all your documents, use Gemini in the middle to do the prompt, and then use the studio to output podcasts and video explainers and mind maps and reports. And all of these different approaches are really about research and repurposing and regurgitating um, content that has been, uh, or AI has been used to enhance it, which is absolutely perfect. However, however, that's a bit of a problem if you're trying to keep track of your ideas, especially in the education space. And what do I mean by that? Well, think about it. When you are creating content uh, on a regular basis, maybe they're courses, maybe they're lessons, maybe they're presentations, maybe it's something that you're doing to add to a course. What you've probably been taught is use a notebook for each of these individual courses. Add all your research, work on it from there. I think that is backwards. Instead of putting all of your content everywhere and bringing it into Notebook LM as a source, I think everyone should consider if they're a content creator, a course creator, education space is that they should have a dynamic living notebook that only has one source. And I'm going to show you why that's important, how it works, and more importantly, how you can get started creating your own dynamic notebooks. How does this work? Well, let's open up my dynamic notebook and I'll go through all of the steps for it. So the first thing is you'll see in the sources here, I only have two sources and I'll explain what the two are, but for the most part, the big one here is my dynamic ideas. And what I did specifically is I created a single Google doc and all that I do is anytime I come up with an idea, maybe it's something that I just come up with. Maybe it's something when I'm thinking, or maybe I'm looking at a YouTube video, or maybe I'm looking at someone else's content and I go, wow, that'd be a really great idea. I should you do something on that. And for mine, I use Notebook LM in my case for creating content and it's YouTube videos. So I come up with ideas all over the place and all I do is I have a single document and I dump the idea into it. And I dump as many ideas as I can and I do a single document this is the document. If you take a look at it, you'll see, for example, that I just added this one here, make it a little bit bigger, and it was journaling apps. Uh, build a journaling app so people know exactly what they're working on and work on each day. So I had been doing some videos about vibe coding, and one of the ideas was, hey, maybe I should create a journaling app for people who are taking courses or learning something so they can keep track of it. Great idea. I didn't go create a document by itself with all the details on it. I just came up with the idea because it's something I wanted to create a YouTube video on. I saved it. Now, the other part is, is that if I have my document open on my desktop, it's kind of easy to cut and paste into a single document. But what about if you're on your phone? Have the document in Google Drive, open the document, use the audio to text feature that's in Google Docs, and just say, hey, Got a new idea, what I should do is create a mini app or vibe code an app that does journaling for each of the individual students so they can keep track of where they are, what they've learned and what they need to learn. That's it. And when I come to the document after, you'll see that because it's Gemini, I can use the Gemini tool for refining and maybe I can elaborate it. So I'm gonna add some more meat to it. On the idea, I'm using Gemini to do that. Concept overview, key functions that might be considered, uh, goal alignment, hey, those are pretty good ideas. Who's it for? Value proposition, 
I'm going to insert that. I've updated my document. I didn't create another document and bring it in to a notebook. I've just updated the document. Now, got my document. It's dynamic. It's a living document. It's a single source. What just happened here? Well, if I went back to Notebook LM, it's got only the old document. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select my source here. And if you notice up at the top, it has click to sync with Google Drive. Because when I added it the first time, I didn't add it as a document, I added it from Google Drive. And in my case, I just want to sync with Google Drive. Each time I come back to Notebook, I open my Notebook for the year, or maybe I do one for each month to keep my monthly ideas in one place, but it's been successfully updated. Now, the source of truth for this notebook is all of my ideas for YouTube videos. What do I need to do in the middle? Because remember, this is Gemini. I can go and start prompting with it, asking questions. And in my case, I want ideas for YouTube videos. So what did I do? I put together some prompts that would really help me, in my case, when I'm getting ideas for YouTube videos. So here's one that I did for discovery and trend spotting. Uh, here's one. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm planning an idea on this topic. Please upload the video sources, create a blind spot report, summarize, captured, then create five questions as an example. Uh, I have one, take my notes uh, and put it into a three act structure for a YouTube studio. So that one is called the automated content architecture. So I have my document with my reusable prompts. I don't need to have reusable ones. I just had these ones created. But if you look at the notebook, I added this prompt library or documents here. So the one that I had called was the content architecture prompt. I can just go and copy and paste this in if I wanted to and pick it. Or uh, what would be a good idea? We'll do this one. I could just go in and say, use my prompt and it'll work. But in my case, I'm going to copy and paste it. And I'm going to say, in my case, let's do uh, take my scattered notes on agents and agent skills and organize them into a structured YouTube script. Include the hook for the 30 seconds, value build in the middle, and a payoff at the conclusion. So it's going to go look at my updated notes, my living dynamic document, and it's going to go and provide me what my prompt has requested. And again, I have a document with prompts that I use on a regular basis. You can use them. You can just mention them if you want. It'll actually take the one that's there. But here we go. Based on the notes, here's a logical structure for the concept that's put together, the hook, the act, the pieces that are there, all of the stuff that I need to create the YouTube video. And that's the purpose for me of doing this. I can still go and use all of the additional pieces that are here. I can go and continue to use all of the outputs that you normally find, like an audio overview, video overview, a report. I can still do that and use it. But for me, my purpose is to take dynamic documents that change and have one notebook for that particular purpose, not individual notebooks with a ton of notes in a bunch of different places and have hundreds of notebooks. I want one for each month or I want one for each category of topics and dynamically update it externally, come to Notebook LM and refresh it. This is a whole different way at looking things. How do you get started doing this? What are the steps to it? Well, here they are. They're pretty simple. And I'm going to do some more examples of this, of course, over the next little while, because I think it is important if you're starting building a growing education business. Uh, and if you're not doing that, you want to make sure to go to trainingsites.io forward slash join. The community is free for everyone to join. All of my content, videos, reports, everything are in there for you to help you just do that. Start and build your grow it. Uh, start build and grow your education business. So, how do you get started? This is the easy thing to do. First thing you need to do is just create a Google document, and in this case, start dumping your notes in. Dump them in the notes. Just very simple. They don't have to be structured. What I do is I put in, for example, a new idea. 
and I just basically put it in and I paste it in. It might be a paragraph, might just be an idea. And more importantly, if I'm using my phone, I'll just open the Google Doc, keep it open, and just use the voice to text and basically say, hey, I got a new idea for a YouTube video. Here's the title, or I saw a YouTube video on this. I could use it this way to apply for my topic or my thing. So I just keep my notes unstructured. They're just there, and I add it to that one document, and I keep doing it. When I come back to that document, when I'm back at my desktop or I'm ready to do a YouTube video, I just go and look at what I had in that one document. And in many cases, I'll select it and I'll pick it out here and I'll just say, you know what, maybe there's something I should do with Opal to update it. Of course, the one I'm showing it doesn't come up. So let's pick another one. Remember, I showed you this one here. So we'll do... Uh, Anytime you're in these, you can refine it, expand on it, do some work on it. But I've got the living document, it's there. That's the first thing. So open your document right now. Just put 10 ideas that you have for YouTube videos or course ideas, whatever it happens to be. Uh, presentation ideas. Put it there, put it in one document. The second thing you're going to need to do is you're going to go and add that document in a new notebook. Now you can do this monthly, yearly, by topic. I think monthly would probably be a pretty good idea if you're prolific or you got all these ideas in your head. But you're going to go add sources. And in this case, you want to make sure you use Google Drive. Not upload a file, but you want to use Google Drive. Not copy text, Google Drive. Now, the reason you want to do that, if remember, if I select it, you can always sync with Google Drive and it will update it. This is the part where you've now got your updated content. So that's the first piece. Create your document, upload it as the only source in your particular notebook that you're going to be doing. And what happens after that is come up with some prompts that you use for creating scripts. Just go to Gemini or any of the other AI tools that you use and say, hey, look, these are the things that I want to do with all of these ideas. What are some of the parts that are important to me? Look for consistent ideas. Look for pieces that are missing. Create YouTube scripts on common ideas or combine them to come up with different, uh, different topics to use for YouTube. Um, what would happen if it was applied to this situation? The document is always being updated. You can use whatever prompts that you want directly within Notebook and they'll only be working on the updated document. You don't have to go open up another Notebook for that particular YouTube video. Just work on the one that's here. You have the option of going and deleting the chat history each time, or you can always keep it and add it as an output that is here. You can even do all of those other things that were available to you if you were doing research. This kind of approach, I think, is a powerful way for anyone who's creating content to stop being overwhelmed with all of the great ideas that we have about using and leveraging AI in our business. Uh, and it's for content creators. It doesn't have to be just courses. Anytime you're creating content for your business, whether it be educational content, marketing content, blog posts, social media, all of it can go in and be working off one dynamic living document, one living dynamic notebook with Google's Notebook LM. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is James, trainingsites.io. Like and subscribe to the channel. Join the community. I'm here doing all of these videos to help you start, build, and grow your education business. Take care and expect the best.